Okay, now a few times I've been asked about people having trouble recording in programs like Audacity when they have a Realtek AC97 or Realtek high definition audio chip or sound card in the computers or laptops. Well, it can be done. Um, the problem they have is this um, setting here, this, the tab for your audio inputs to select it doesn't work as you can see it's grayed out it's picking nothing up from the real tech chip um, that means you can't set your inputs to record that people can't use the software uh, not only in audacity but other similar software as well so what we have to do for that is we have to work around that so we click on the edit tab we go to preferences and we come up with this tab box here now we need to set the playback device to Microsoft Sound Mapper output and then most important now the recording you'll have two options you'll have your microphone Realtek HD audio which is the recording the native recording input which is what most people would select and it can't pick that up we want to keep that on Microsoft Sound Mapper input that will record anything that plays out through the sound card we want to change most important now from it will usually come up as one stereo channel mono we want the output to be output to two stereo channels so we select that okay also you can check your quality you play back change that it could be on 32 bit but we I've, I've changed that to 16 bit 44 1100 Hertz for the output there. Other options there you can choose for your preferences. And then what you want to do is okay, now what you want to do is make sure you turn off your system sounds before you record. For that, you want to go to control panel, your audio options, and you'll come up with this window here. And you just want to click on that and click on no sounds click on apply and ok then when you, after you finish recording you can always turn your windows sounds back on by going back to the same box so we'll turn the sounds off no no sounds click on apply ok so the sounds are Windows sounds are off. That'll turn off all your email bleeps, uh, Windows error bleeps that might pop up as you're recording. You get an email. It'll go halfway through the recording, which I've had I've had happen before. And once you've turned your system sounds off, you'll want to set up your levels, both in your for your recording. That's both in uh, Audacity. From these, this bar here, and also you want to open your your Realtek Audio Manager. And in this, on this one, the microphone jack is the recording. But you got your your levels here for your input. So you record. You set the input between the two. Once you've set your input levels correct. Okay, after you've done that, you'll want to save your project. I like to call it Ord Record. You save that to desktop or My Documents or somewhere. And uh, you can just recall that straight up then for whenever you need to record again in future. It's all there, ready, done, set. You've, you've, you've rooted the audio. The t you've chose your two stereo channels. That's all been saved. Your settings for your levels have all been saved. It's all ready, you just click on it, open, record, finish, and then you export, export your audio and you're done. Close it, you can open it back up again and everything's the same next time. Okay, when you do need to set your levels, just set the record, click on your record, set your sound source that you want to record going first, and you'll see your, your wave pattern come in and start recording, which you wasn't getting before because you wasn't getting no input from, from the uh, selecting the normal input on there um, then of course 
by changing your levels in the Realtek Manager and on there, you can get you'll have your le your recording levels will be shown on here, and you can obviously you can test your recording, see set your level properly uh, just as you want it. One thing I will say is you can set up any sound card in the same way um, with the Microsoft Sound Mapper. And, and that will record anything that comes through the um, the system. So that will be, you could listen to any audio source. It could be an internet, online radio station. And you can record it in this way. It could be a DV, audio from a DVD you want to sample. Uh, you can record it this way with this. Uh, machine gun fire from a, from a game as well. Anything, anything like that you can record with this set up in that way and any other sound card sound card doesn't have to be a real tech one if you as long as you set it up in the same way with for the microsoft mappable it, it'll record it in just the same way you might also want to hit your main mixer board and click on um, mute for pc bleep 